how we feel about um, progress in the black community. And we take steps to make sure that, um, you know, our people are taken care of. So we wanted to open this room up today to uh, host the conversation uh, with UE 150 and with the sanitation workers. And, um, you know, we're here to support for whatever is needed. Well, I'm just happy to be here and the wife is here with me. And uh, I am very thankful that I just uh, that I found out that this evening is going on. And of course, as a uh, pastor of that Blue Baptist Church, I, I've been there for the past uh, 53 years.
you need to leave. We have a few people that are standing side by side with you. And if y'all been looking at the news, uh, and looking at the, the news coming from the council meeting, the meeting, the paper, you see that the citizens is out ready to go with this just as much as you are. Because I know what you want. Any time that you can go out here in 107 degree weather and pick up trash and barely get water to drink. Any time you get out here during the time of snow all on the street, ice. And you got to, and not only you continue with the ice and the heat, but you got to continue with driving on the street. Your life is, your, the, from the time you step out to your door to go home, to the time you get into that truck, your life is in danger. Yeah. All day long. And you study looking out for people who want to just run stop sign, run street lights, back in town. And you don't deserve a fair way, you deserve a fair way. Yes, you do. And see, we're talking about the children that go to school. You, it's hard for a person that's making $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 a year to see if they get to school. It's hard. And what we're going to do is just, we don't want to wait, we just want our fair check. We want our fair check because we think that's what we deserve. And that's what you deserve. You deserve that. Anytime um, when you're looking at um, the rain, storm, we got hurricanes coming up, tornadoes coming up, all kinds of floods coming up. And who they call them? They call them on the sanitation workers in the city and flood. They ain't calling on the police to get out there and pick up this. They ain't calling on the fire department to pick up this. Don't get me wrong, we know the fire department deserve their money. We know the police deserve their money, but you also deserve your money. So we are here today to strategize, we are here today to get a plan, and we are here today to stand together and fight for what is yours. I just want to say, um, my name is Kamal Snatch, and I do this out of pocket. 
That's right. That's I, right. I'm, I'm not with no media, nobody. I've been doing this since the 90s. You have media. I go way back yeah, you have to Black have Workers for Justice, yeah. all those groups over here in Rocky Mountain. I've been working over here in Rocky Mountain with, with Honeywell Aerospace for 36 years, still there. Um, it's an honor and a pleasure to be in the room with Rel Walker. I, 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 I've been out there on the battlefield with them, with the uh, sanitation workers and all that kind of stuff. I had somewhere else to go today. When I got off work at 3.30, when I got to 70, I came here, I chose to come here. Because when brothers come together, I want to be with them. You know, I, I admire y'all guys coming in, taking a stand. I oh, see, I took a stand on my job in other places and had to stand by myself. Mm -hmm. And that's all right, because you, you will be heard. But it's more power with numbers. So I wouldn't want to be anywhere else today but here in this room. Because like I said, when brothers come together, things happen. So I'm with you. And this room ought to be filled up with folks that you all are working for. And that's another problem I got. Like I said, I've been going to the city council meeting longer than any of the city council members up there. The attorney is the only somebody that's been there longer than I have. So I follow Rocky Mountain. I live in Pine Talk, uh, about 20 miles from here. But I spent a lot of time in Rocky Mountain. But that's why I've been working at for 36 years. I've got family and friends and enemies here. I'm here to support y'all guys, whatever I can do. So I just appreciate it. We want to applaud you for coming out today and doing this. Yes, sir. With, with people like you and Reverend Walker and other people like that coming together, they're showing solidarity with the people. We can't we can't do it. That's right. Uh, we can't do it. Can't do it. So what we want what we want to do is thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. A lot of our hard for you coming out here and taking your time out doing that. But we're gonna have. Mr. Willie Brown. Mr. Willie Brown. I went to one of their, their meetings in, in Durham last week. And I want to know these brothers and some more brothers. Just like y'all started off small, but it came up big. And I want you to know that they came together and they fight. And they not only fight for Durham, but they also fight for all of us that did the other side. First of all, why you begin to speak? I want to pay homage to a brother that I love. His name is Samuel Bowers. I'm walking out with his face. That's my brother. He didn't want me to come to Rocky Mountain, but I didn't have a reason because he couldn't find me one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because he was kicking, excuse my friend, but my ass up so hard that he didn't need my help. <laughs> Man, Sam was the big express and everything. You know, he was a big, big, big weight guy. You know what I'm saying? And I am too. And I'm just kind of falling off. <laughs> you know, I'm still strong. And I'm still standing. And I, I want to pay homage to my brother, Sammy Bach. Sam Rock. Y'all know who Sam Rock. That's my man. I'm not just saying this. I'm telling you. That's my man. Sam always knew how to stand up, guy. That's why he begged me to come to Rock and Cause see, I'm tired, but I ain't scared. I'm tired, but I ain't dead. Hey. I want you to understand that I work all. I work all. But I want to get paid for my work. Hmm. Rocky Mount, Sam told me this, got problems. He told me about the graveyard when he had to come up here and get the city council to get off their backside and clean that graveyard up. He had to get the churches to go in there and clean the graveyard up because the man they have found their churches in there and the graveyard was covered up. His grave was covered up with the bad seeds so with rubbish on it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But these are the founders of the city. They're disrespected and allowed to be disrespected because nobody will stand up for them. And it's the same thing with y'all. Y'all city work. This city work becomes y'all work. Don't you never forget that. If y'all don't work, this city don't work. I don't care what nobody said. Oh, they gonna bring in GFI. They tried it on us. They couldn't do it. They had trash all over the streets. It was, it was dirty before dirty in the woods. Dirty was the Carolina capital of North Carolina. Do you know what kind of stuff is in the trash and dirt? All kind of needles, hypothermic needles, fitting all bags, anything, touching the kid. I want you to hear that. But the drugs ain't just Jermaine the dirt. Rocky Mountain got problems too. But I'm, I'm just talking to myself. No, no, no. So, so, having that we see, y'all don't see. So, the things we see, y'all don't see.
God don't sin. Don't come to work about this deed, during this deed. We ain't got the same problems. We do. We got pay problems too. Come on, let's keep it real. I'm tired, but I ain't scared. I stand up to the city of dirt. I stand up to Rocky Mountain. I stand up to the United States of America. Look at the national picture. I say the same thing everywhere. That's why sanitation workers are standing up and say, hold on, they ain't got a point. It ain't my point, it's just the truth. It's just, it ain't my truth, it's our truth. That's right. I don't do sanitation. You didn't know that, did you? Man, why are you speaking of sanitation work? You don't work sanitation. No, I work flush drug. I work clean the storm drain with bad flesh flesh and bacteria. I dump in the same cup spaces that y'all do. You smell it? You grind on the street, you smell it, don't you? But they ain't got no PPE, which is personal protective equipment for us. Mm, come on. We gotta breathe that stuff. And then when we retire 20, 30 years, we got cancer, they can't even figure out where they came from. Mm. And we don't smoke. Mm. So you mean to tell me we don't pay me on the back end when I'm on the way to the grave. <laughs> but you ain't gonna pay me a fair wage now where I can help make a living for my family. There's no way that you and me should have seven jobs in the one that's our main job. I work at Taco Bell on my side job. I ain't lying, I'm telling you the truth. What does the Taco Bell got to take you on? Mm. I'm just being, I'm real like that. I'm telling you the truth. Because I got to make ends meet. Why? Because I have a CD in You know, I got to make almost $7,000 so I can drive that quick. I got to pay for that $151 a month. I'm just being honest. Why ain't no programs in place for us to do that with the city? Because we drive their trucks. Why in no place where well, we got to go outside to the private sector and get an education to come back and we work in our own city and then don't get paid for it? Y'all ain't going to have that problem with Oh, y'all do. So they just leave. Oh, so, so they just sit in dirt. This is city of Rocky Mountain, too. Well, I see the city of Rocky too. You understand me? That's the reality. But yet they want you to cash your vote for them. And they'll be city council. Then they're going to pick a sorry city manager. Now, you understand me? They, they, they can create the habit of the budget that won't cut you in, but they cut everybody else in. Come on, man. That's the reality. You got to speak truth to power. All right, now. Because it can seize to nothing but a command. Mm. First of all, I like what you got written down here, but I can't stand it. See, I, I hear what you're saying about the pay increase, but what do you have and what do you need right now? Hmm. See, the thing is, you can't go to them asking for nothing that you deserve. Hmm. You got to demand it. They're going to demand $5,000. That's what I said. Hmm. You know, they say we can't eat for free. And I told them, eat it. Yeah. Mm. I want to say what the old folk used to say, but it would be nice to their red <laughs> Come on so with it. They came back and said, we might can't get you to five, but we're going to get you close to the end. Come on now. Because I didn't come in and ask it. I came in and demanded it, but you demanded not too much of it. Mm. I demanded you do it. That's right. Come on now. Come up with the money. You know what the man said? Well, we ain't got to go to the hard topics. How much we put in the hard topics? <laughs> <laughs> and then told the city manager. Come up with it. Take it from the hard time, Lord. <laughs> I don't give a damn what you say. Just give it to my face. Give it to my pocket. I'm stupid. I'm doing a good job. Give it to my pocket. I got beans. Lots of beans. Mm. Lots of beans. You understand? Mm. I mean, I'm a little foul. I'm glad they took this again. You got a lot of work to do. Come on now. <laughs> But the reality is, y'all ain't struggling at the top. Mm. Uh, Come on now. If you don't take care of the foundation of what you got, what happens to it? Boy? All right, now. It crumbles. Mm. And we are the foundation of the city. The city workers take care of the city, and they should be taken care of. Don't you never forget that. I don't care if you run a trash truck. You know what happens when they don't pick that trash up? It's not smelling like dead bodies on the mm. street. Come on now. Huh? Mm. Cause we know how the dumps smell. Figure out how the neighborhood gonna smell when you don't come get mm. it. Mm. Listen, they got a really rare rocking out. I ain't playing with you. You better figure something out for these folks mm. because when they call you E150, mm. we don't jolly on the spot. We on the spot now. You know you do 
realize that's your own fault. Mm. We got one of the best schools in the world serving in this country. Get it through your You ain't got to say nothing. Well, I still, I don't got no more to say to you. Tell me what you say. Come on now. Show me the way to work. You ain't got to say that. I'm on the front line for everybody. My city is one of my wood they say something. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. I know what's going yes, on. God got me first. Come on now. And when I'm right, he's going to make sure he's not out on you. No, that's right. God. Don't get no, this ain't a game. Mm. This is our lives. This is our lives. Just like you want for your family, we want for ours. Don't forget it. Organize your union. You ain't going to agree on anything. We're fussing at each other right now. Come on now. <laughs> We're not going to agree on anything. But what you can agree on is you ain't getting what you deserve. Mm, right? mm, mm. You hear me? That's what you can agree on. You ain't even got to like each other. I work with Come on now. I know that's right. Come on now. Breathe. Yes, sir. I fight for ungratefulness. That's right. Mm. That's how I feel. Mm. But if you think to yourself, you can do a good job. Mm. You do your job. That's right. You understand me? I'm just being real. Because that ain't what it's about. I hear you. It's mm. about organizing. That's right. You need to do better for yourself. Yeah. Listen, I know the union, they be like, oh man, that's $25. What I'm about to say. All right, how much are your car insurance? I'm just asking. That's how I do it. We're about to $200 million. Don't get out of this. They have no The insurance just went up on the show. If you don't know what you're doing, how much is the house insurance? How much is that? How much is it? How much is your health insurance? Hmm. Well, let me tell you something. You can insure your house. You can insure your health. You can insure that. You need to insure your job. What you do? All right, now. That's what you need to do. Because this pays for all of that. Hmm. If something goes wrong, you know, you think it's a high five for somebody. <laughs> they might be slow to high, but they, they show quick to find hmm. You understand? Rap me and all this. You know all these words that go fast, man. I don't <laughs> want to spell. <laughs> they, they quick to put a burden on you, a burden of proof on you, when in reality, probably had fought this equipment in the first place. Right. Oh, you preaching now? Mm. You preaching? Yeah, I go, hey, hey, I'm out there, I'm preaching. I know what you're talking about. You probably had fought this equipment in the way. Oh, John, you're going to broke this. Man, I've been broke. I've been preaching for years. You know, the press on this drug big day. Come on, it, it takes 10 feet to stop. Mm. It should take the three. Come on now. Oh, my, my, my. my. You curve, plus the time. Oh, you got right to go. Uh, you ain't got nobody represent you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're a bad boy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. I don't know why that box is that close to the street. But I'm not saying to you, number one, organize. Number one, organize. Set over a clear agenda which you want. And this is not nice, man. But, but right now, you got to let me know you're here. People don't know you're here when you say, but it be later. Mm. They need it later. Mm. No, I need some money now. Right. I need money right now. Mm. I need mm. some money now. Come let on now. Work. See what's there. Look at your fund pump. Right. See what's there. Because they're going to use that to fund some other projects. Oh, yeah. Raise some money. You know, <laughs> that's real. Oh, you yeah. It's a joke. It's not. Make some contracts with this and that and the third so they put it in visible kickbacks. You, you know, that's real. They do mm. that. Because everybody right. on the city council, around the president, we're millionaires and billionaires, where they are. Are y'all gonna see me? Mm. You know, I mean, it's just the reality. Cut yourself in. Don't cut yourself off. Mm. The fifteen percent is good, man. That's that's, that's a good start, man. The cost of living, but that still won't catch up the cost of living because it don't raise twenty three percent. Come on now. In the last couple of years, so I mean that right there, it's just a little too low. If you want to lay it on the moon. Aim for the stars. <laughs> mm. I, I, I'm just. Mm. See, you reasonable. Sometimes you just got to act like a fool. All right now. I need twenty five cents. All right now. <laughs> I need five thousand dollars. <laughs> and then, and then when you start talking like that, people say, "Hold on, wait, hold on, we got, we got some sense." And when you mean it, and if you show me, they gonna say, "Wait, hold on, okay, I can't do twenty five. Can't be five dollars before trying to beat you close to the end. You get that language. Mm. But you just said you couldn't do that. Period. Mm-hmm. You said you couldn't do that. Period. When we came to you and asked you, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we need six minutes to speak. Uh, do they have to know? Three. We need, <laughs> we need six minutes to speak. Three. 
Three. Who knows the next time? No, he did that just one time. We ain't gonna work the next time. Mm. Come on now. Every time since then, it ain't time. All right now. That's right. Every, no, they ain't talk to us. We talk to them. <laughs> and then when they got time to talk to us, we ain't gonna miss it. <laughs> We ain't had nothing to say. Mm. We said what we had to say. Come on now. And since then, right now I got to be sitting down with one, one page. I ain't on Zoom. Because I ain't got nothing to say. Mm. I don't say all I have to say. Come on now. On this table. That's and right. most importantly, when I put it on this table, I stood on this. That's, That's right. right. That's right. And then when somebody got to ask a question, they can ask anybody. The answer is the same. Right. Ain't nobody speaking out of turn. Mm. When somebody, okay, you can speak. You can speak. If you ain't there, you can speak. If he ain't there, nobody speak. We ain't got nothing to talk about. All right, now. Because when everybody starts talking and starts speaking out of turn, they know they have to fight. That's right. And they're going to copy you that way. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. You need to talk to Leroy. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because that means that's who you speak to. That's right. My and Leroy would be not never to pitch you Ain't no backbone conversation. Ain't no smoke for your room. You need to talk to me. Talk to me out of the club. That's right. So everybody can hear. That's right. Because I don't ever want them to think that I compromise this movement. Mm. My, my, my. Yeah. They off your raises. They gonna try to do everything they can to break you up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I ain't speaking for them. Somebody told me. I'm telling you what it is. Mm -hmm. But when you offer me a raise, it's gonna be on my qualification. Not some telling somebody else. Mm. Yeah. Because they don't come at you like that. When they see you fuck people, be for people. Mm. Get in you. Make you on you. If you ain't got no man, because you're going to need that protection. I can speak like I'm speaking right now because I got that protection. Five I can be dollars. You know what I mean? Because I've embarrassed you that much. Five me, I'm going to get a million dollars. Because I got some people behind me that's going to put that big work down and say, oh, he's fine, he's going to leave the time. Oh, he's in your book. Okay, well, I wasn't one. <laughs> but I'm going to say the same thing on the clock. I don't say off the clock. Come on now. You get in the right position. But on the clock, you know, I keep calling. But when I soon as I hit that button, yeah, it's going to be on fire. Like Come on now. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. But I'm on another clock. I just want y'all to understand that I, I moved from Charlotte, North Carolina, because they priced me out of Charlotte. Mm. I moved to North Durham, I was moved to Raleigh, and they crossed me down the road. They me out. So I bought me a house. I tried to move to Durham, but they priced me out. Mm. Just in case of real. Oh, to yeah. But then I moved to Nightingale, North Carolina, and bought me a house. I didn't like to stay in the house. They like this. I'm not sure I did. I bought mm. a mayor's house. Come on now. I, I bought Simple Almost House. I can say it right. I'm just trying to show you how bad it is. But well, they can price you out of the city and you can go to another one. Jesus, you can buy that real city. Okay. You don't just buy that house, you buy that real house. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's the, you know, I pay for one without all my. I just never talk about that. I just never roll. I don't get across the country. I can't even go to the middle of the But I got older and I said, well, I need to stop staying home, you know. That's the right thing for the love cycle. Mm, mm, mm. And then when I started with the city I worked for, I didn't even get half a paycheck. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I didn't even get half a paycheck. Now I'm working for a kid because I'm forcing the hand. I'm forcing the hand. And that's what you have to do. Because you need a little more wage. Mm. I don't know what it takes to live in my life. What does it take to live in my life? What does it take? <laughs> what does it take? Mm. What does it take? Somebody can help me with that. Six to six to seven. Somebody, somebody, six to seven. Just too many. I mean, chicken is hot. I mean, you know, chicken is hot. I'm trying to be funny. Chicken is hot. Chicken is hot. Milk is hot. Bread is hot. Okay. I don't think we're going to talk about that. That's a whole other thing. So, you know, like Jesus, like Jesus says, a people. I don't know why it's so loud.
Oh, yeah, about the phone. Let's, 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 be, let's be reasonable. How many of the positions are we talking about in the city of Rocky Mountain, in the city government period? Mm-hmm. Just throw a number out there that you know is still correct. What about 60? 60. Almost. Do you know those 60 jobs that are vacant? The city council has a lot of money for all year long. Mm-hmm. Do you know by rules and regulations that the city has to put that money to a side for all of the people that's under a vacant position? Did you know that? That's what they said here with the police. Do you know what they do with that money at the end of the year? When they started that it was No, 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 no. They put it in what, what's called a fund. Journal fund. Fund bank. <laughs> A fund bank. And then you know what they do with that money? They reallocate the next year for something else. Yeah. <laughs> so, while you might work in two jobs to pay your bills and doing work of two people on the regular job, <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? They're taking this money and putting it into special projects or pork belly projects that they see fit. And your city manager is the one returning the money. Mm. Do you know that money is there? So when you ask for something, they can't tell you they ain't got the money, but that has work for same work. <laughs> mm. So when you ask for that money, you know what they had to go back and do? Say, well, the question was asked, well, what did you do with the money for my department? I have a department that has 177 spots. We have 48 people working. Mm. You know how many jobs we're doing? We like to just know this respectfully. This is the way it's going to be. We have like six jobs. <laughs> we got too many jobs. We're doing everybody's job. And that is getting paid for hours. Mm. So you, you can't tell me you ain't got money in the bank since it's there. That's, that's what you got to look at. Just imagine you got 40 people working 15 people in the Do you know how much money that is? You take 15 times $40,000 to do the math. Everybody can be the most. You're going to go. You're going to go. You know what I'm saying? So you can't tell me you shouldn't have a bonus on you. You can't tell me you shouldn't get an immediate bonus right now. Mm. You can't tell me that you ain't got the money to go. You have money bagged up. For years, from having all the people not working. Mm, mm, mm. And it's not to their benefit. Your managers and supervisors, yeah, they've been told not to hire nobody to go, you do the job with less people. So when they say, well, they take those six months off, somebody, a few months out, that's a lie. You're going to get a job, where is it about? You're going to get a job, where is it about? Where you been to take 90 days to hire somebody? Where you been? That's the, that's, the, that's the level of excuse they're going to use because they don't want to give you the money. That's why you got to make a demand for the money. You can't ask for the money. We want it immediately so much money. We want that immediately. And we want these raises to shoot. And this pay study, see the pay study, you got to be careful about the pay study. They borrowed that from Nerd and Rock. This Rock and Rock and Nerd and Nerd, you know, <coughs> it's great. Let me tell you about the pay study. What? Who they studying to pay you for? Mm, 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 mm. Right. <laughs> That's a legitimate question. Right. Do you know who they studying? <laughs> See, that, don't, that ain't fair to me. How you gonna make my pay on some study and don't know who you study? Mm, mm, mm. Come on now. That ain't fair to you. That's right. You didn't question it. Right? You could be studying. You could be studying North Korea. <laughs> and how they pay folks? <laughs> That's right. Because they keep telling you they have a salary based on the wet market. Mm. The open market. <laughs> they get open money. <laughs> All the other different plantations are sitting there. So Come on now. Trying. My, my, my. Now, I'm not trying to be funny because they're real. They're just all municipal establishments with city names. Mm, mm, mm. What are they going to pay off their repair? We ain't got a big set of Right, right, right. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, well, I'm not What kind of study is that? That mm. ain't fair. If you're going to study the open market, pay me on GFI, what you pay GFI? 
see a fire. Mm. Pay me out people who go in there and flush these sisters with the flush truck and the water badges. Pay me out people who did the, you know, fight somebody in the building. Mm. Mm. Go be the same job, though. Mm. Mm. So pay me out for the market. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that when you do form the union, you got to put this in front of each other. Up with it, listen, with each other. Because they're going to they gonna use language like essential words. Mm. <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> Everybody's central. The dog catches it. The dog catches it. I mean, what kind of language is that? The bad boys are central. The bad boys are central. The bad boys are central.